In 1938, scientists found a very weird fish swimming off the coast of South Africa. They were surprised to see it because the last time anyone had was in a 66 million year old fossil. The coelacanth has been called a living fossil, but that's a really dumb name because it's very much alive. It's just barely changed since the time of the dinosaurs. Now look at us. We inhabit every corner of the planet. We shape our environment. We control energy. We have big brains that we use to understand our world and the universe in which it resides. We're pretty awesome. But in evolution's eyes, humans and coelacanths are equally successful. We've both made it. Each of us in our particular environment has conquered enough challenges to survive. A side effect of being the only species that can figure out where it is and where it came from is believing that we've somehow climbed to the top of nature's ladder. But viewing ourselves as the pinnacle of evolution, the brightest star in a galaxy of life, is no more correct than viewing Earth as the center of the universe. Every species evolved at different rates in response to different environments. As some make it and some don't. But as long as we exist, as long as that fish exists, evolution will continue its journey to, well, nowhere in particular. But evolution doesn't have a purpose, realizing there's no destination in mind or no trophy for best species or most improved waiting at some finish line can be an uncomfortable thought. But this is how it is with evolution. So what's the point? We've studied the night sky for centuries, the same night sky that that ancient fish lives under. And it's shown us that we're just one small part of something bigger, that we're made of the same stuff as what's up there. It's a profoundly humbling experience. We've also learned that our planet has as much life ahead of it as it's lived so far, and that the universe has even more still. Right now, Earth is a tiny bit of life in a tiny corner of a vast ecosystem. And we're just a few steps into this journey. That gives us incredible potential. We understand much of how the universe works, even if we can't perfectly predict exactly what it will look like tomorrow. We might not know where we're going or what we might find there, but we're definitely going somewhere. Ultimately, we're all just doing what we can with what we've got to reach tomorrow, like everything else in the universe. And we should feel good about that. That's the best we can do. Stay curious. This video is part of our 12 Days of Evolution series. Check out more by exploring Darwin's beard. Find the links down in the description, or you can click that thing that just popped up on screen. Be a Darwinner, not a Dar loser. Watch them all.